Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today we're taking a look at a PlayStation 4 that's taking discs but it's not reading them. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is a friend's PlayStation 4. Um, it's his son's PlayStation 4, actually. I think they've got quite a few in the house. And it is taking discs. So you can insert a disc and you can inject a disc. I've cleaned the rollers up and everything on it already. Um, so it's really ejecting a disc out of it. Um, but once the disc is in there, it doesn't spin, no activity at all. So I think that there's some sensors in here broken. So we're gonna take it apart and have a look. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, so I've opened it up. I didn't go through the taking it apart piece on the video because it's pretty straightforward. You unclip the top lid and then there's these two parts to remove the heat shield in and the, the cover for um, the top of the drive and the fan. Um, they are just held in with a couple of um, hex bits and screw, um, Phillips screws, so nothing major on there. I've also removed the two screws from the DVD drive or the Blu-ray drive. Um, just so we can take a look at lifting this up in a bit. Um, but I'll show you quickly what it's doing. We'll power it up, get the PlayStation up and running, and then I'll show you what the disc is doing once it's inserted. Okay, so I powered up the PlayStation now. Um, you can probably just about hear in the background, I've got the, the menu showing on my screen, so I'm not gonna show you the screen because nothing major to show on there at the moment. Um, the main thing is I'm gonna insert this Street Fighter disc into the drive and show you what's happening. It's taking a disc nice, and then it just sits there. So there's no spinning, no interaction at all with that disc. The laser's not moving, nothing's happening at all with it. Then I eject the disc, and out it comes. So it's pushing the disc right out, and then I can put the disc back in, and no activity, it's not spinning at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do is power this down now. I'll get this disc out of here first, power it down, and I'll show you what I think is the issue with this um, this drive. Okay, so the PlayStation is powered down, and I've taken the power cord out of there, so we're not going to get any electricity running through this. Um, I've already taken the two screws out of this drive lid, so we're going to lift it up and forward. So this takes the front, the top of the drive off. And there we go. So I'll put that out of the way with our other parts. The piece that I think is the issue is this here. So this is the the drive motor. Uh, let's try and change angles and zoom in for you a bit. Well, I can zoom in on this camera. Okay, so this piece here, uh, basically underneath here is a motor that spins. Um, and we've got these two switches here and here. And there's another one on the inside on that part. Those switches, I think, when the lid moves and those arms move in and out, I think they touch on these contacts. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you on this camera because it's crap, so I'll put some photos over the top of it um, to show you. But this one is missing the the little almost trigger switch. That one's got the trigger switch on there, so that one will be engaging, but that one won't. So I'm guessing it's that little switch that's um, causing the issue. So what I've done is I've gone to... Z Labs. Um, Z Labs sell a lot of parts and spares for consoles, and I managed to buy a replacement motor. But we're not going to do the whole motor swap, we're just going to swap this top board over. Okay, so hopefully, this thing will focus in. Basically, I'm going to take off these two um, blobs of solder, and then we're going to take off that um, little ribbon cable as well. And hopefully, that once I've done this, it should lift free. So I'm just putting a little bit of flux on these just to free them up a bit once I put some heat on them. Then I'm gonna use some uh, solder wick to take away the, the excess solder off there and hopefully we'll be able to lift them up and out of the way after that. Um, I've not taken one of these apart before. It's a little bit different to swapping the whole drive over and a little bit easier than swapping the whole drive over because the whole drive changes a complete strip down of the PlayStation 4 which is a bit of a pain okay so we're gonna try and desolder these first of all let's see what we can do
Okay, so plug the power back in, plug the HDMI back in. Moment of truth, let's power it on. So first of all, we've got power, which is good. Uh, let's let it boot up. Okay, so moment of truth, we're back at the menu on the, the screen. I'm gonna put my Street Fighter disc back in. And we're spinning. Awesome. So, could be a couple of seconds. I'll just show you up on the screen. And there's our Street Fighter disc in and loading. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Um, I'm just going to show you down on here. And as you can see, we're spinning. We've got a working disk drive again. Cool. Okay, so as you can see, pretty easy fix. There's only two solder points. Uh, the fiddliest thing is getting that ribbon cable back in. As you'll probably see on my video as I went through it, I forgot to put the ribbon cable back in first time. Um, you've got to hook it back out with a pair of like pointy nose tweezers, and then you've got to really work it to make sure it gets into that uh, connector. Um, that's the fiddliest bit about it, to be honest. It wasn't a hard fix, um, and it's working lovely now. So all I've got to do is rebuild this PlayStation. I can give it back to my mate and we're all up and running. So if you've got a drive that isn't working, um, it's taking discs, ejecting discs, but it's just not reading them and you can't get them spinning up, it's probably that little motherboard um, on the on the drive itself, on the Blu-ray drive, and it's probably just one of those switches that snapped off. I could have looked for those switches individually. I did have a look quickly to see if I could find them and you can't find the parts individually. Um, I did even think about shorting it off but I didn't know whether that would make the disc spin all the time and we don't want it spinning all the time because um, as soon as you put a disc in it's going to scrape and scratch the hell out of it so um, yeah the replacement parts from Z Parts, Z Labs, Z Labs yeah it comes in a great box um, they do they do new parts as well as uh, refurbished parts and um, I've, I've used them for a few things over the years uh, pretty good company pretty reliable decent company I think they sell on eBay as well as their own website so I bought this straight off of zlabs.com um, the part came within two three days so it's uh, Saturday at the moment it came through the letterbox this morning I think I ordered it maybe Thursday or Friday night so yeah really quick delivery and a really quick fix so if you've got a problem with your blu-ray drive not spinning and not taking not reading your discs take a look at this it could help you out cool thanks for watching usual things like subscribe I do lots of different projects um, I'm working on a Dreamcast reshell at the moment um, I've got a load of things for mods and things going on for the Dreamcast and other systems. So take a click down below, subscribe, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.